Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is kind of true to my life right now because it's kind of happening to me right now, so I thought it might kind of help you guys in some way or another. I don't know. Something that I want to kind of point out is I'm wearing a dress and I don't normally do that, so why not? I mean, like, I'm a girly girl and all, but like, not really for a video but I was ju just wearing a tank top and I was like I want to be more more fancy more pretty for you guys so I'm wearing a dress this video is I was gonna say sponsored this video is inspired <laughs> sponsored what <laughs> inspired by <laughs> it's not sponsored but it's inspired by my life because it's happening to me right now so um yeah but in that video is uh, how to get out of a slump I thought it might be kind of helpful for you know for you guys so if this video um helped you get out of your slump then give this video a thumbs up because that would be awesome and the stuff that i'm mentioning in this video i kind of found on like a blog so that blog will will be linked below yes i said blog not blog but a blog and also if you have any tips on things that i did not mention in this video comment them below because maybe that will help some people else out without further ado Lego. So step one into kind of getting out of a slump is to have one goal. So in my case, I'm kind of in like a filming slump. So maybe filming this might help me because I'm like talking about what's going on in my life. I don't know, but have one goal. And I don't, I mean, I don't really have a specific goal with my channel. It would be nice, but my goal is not to be like famous. Like, I mean, it would be nice, but like, I just love to film, you know, it's just what I love doing. I just love talking to a camera that's filming despite I stutter, but I really don't care because I've been doing this for years and yeah. <laughs> Step number two is to find inspiration. Now with my slump sort of, I mean, I don't mean to bring it up, but it just kind of relate pretty much for me. I've been kind of going back to, if you know Alicia Marie, her older videos, like I love how she did her shot, like in her intro sort of, like I like that shot, like that kind of makes me happy. So that's kind of inspiration for me, but even though clearly that's not my, my kind of situation going on but step number three is to build up anticipation i forgot the word <laughs> once you have that goal set a date in the future to kind of start achieving that goal but for now just do out a plan like what is your plan to achieve that goal maybe use a planner or a calendar or whatever just plan out your goal use a lined piece of paper you know something like that just to kind of help plan out how you're gonna get out of your or actually plan how you're going to kind of reach that goal the fourth tip a tip is to post about it on the vlog on the blog that i saw this on it said to kind of put it like up on your fridge um, how much you can but i kind of interpreted it as kind of put it on social media so that you can get kind of like a trilling squad going you know because that'd be kind of fun you know if you have a blog you can write about it there you know i have my notes that's why i might be looking down because i have my notes right in this book but um so it, like if i look down i'm sorry that's what i'm reading my notes and also because i'm just that creative and that nice i can make you guys um little things to fill out for your goals so i can maybe post them somewhere and link them below or i can put some copies on my YouTube, Instagram, which if you're not following that already, you so should. It's just at Tiffany Luann on YouTube. So shameless self promo there, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so go and check those out and post yours with hashtag get out of a slump. I don't know. I'll put the hashtag on the screen, but yeah. <laughs> or you can also print it out big on like a piece of paper, go on, on like maybe Word or PowerPoint and just make a whole slide and print out and maybe put it like up on your fridge or something. Or if you have like an inspiration board, put it on there, you know, find somewhere where you're gonna see it and it's gonna be loud and proud, <laughs> you know, loud and proud. Tip number five is to think about it daily. What I mean about that is not things about the negative things, but things about positive. How many times can I say things? <laughs> but think about the positive, you know, your goal, your positive goal that you set, you know, think about that and as your brain thinks about it, it might kind of help ingrain it and you might be able to achieve your goal. Number six, um, get support from family, friends, you know, people who inspire you, um, talk to them about it. You know, they might, you know, support you or, you know, just get out your your feelings with friends, 
family, you know, close family, close friends, your best friend, you know, just get support from anybody. Maybe like your husband or your wife or something like that. But, you know, someone who, you know, will support you no matter what. Number seven is to know that you will have ups and downs. This is not my first time in this whole slump thing. Just know there will be times when you will feel this way again, but just know how to kind of control that, know how to cope with it, you know? Maybe, you know, try to push it to be positive. Number eight is start small. Your goal may be big, but take baby steps. Baby steps. Don't, don't just go like into it like that. It's, it's kind of like starting a channel. Of course, I'm gonna give you this example because that's how I work. <laughs> you're not gonna start with 1,000 subscribers. You're gonna start with zero. And as you keep making videos, you're gonna get more. Soon you're gonna have 10 subscribers and then you're gonna have 20 and then you're gonna have like 35 and then it's gonna just keep building up. So just start small with your goal to just baby steps toward the goal. And as we said in step seven, there will be ups and downs. So if there's a fault somewhere in your steps, don't back down, keep climbing, you know, just keep climbing those steps. Maybe think of it as like, a, you know, a stairwell. It doesn't go from here to here like that. There are steps to get there. So each step is a step in your system. So I'm like, if you trip and fall, get, get right back up and keep climbing. And soon you will get to your goal. I promise you, you will. Number nine is something that even I struggle with. Stay positive. I know it's really, really hard, but stay positive. There will be times when you think about negative things. Don't let yourself think that way. Think positive. Just think, oh, instead of what if I fail or how about what if I succeed? What if this gets better? And it will. Or what if it just, what if things go my way? Keep that mindset and things might go your way. Things might go right. Things might be positive for you. And number 10, I've been trying to do this and that's ask for help. Again, ask a close family member, a close friend, maybe your counselor. If you have a down moment, contact them, talk to them. Talk to them what's going on. You know, why you're like, what, what your slump is and just kind of talk through it and they might help you. They might give you advice, you know, just ask for help or go on like a forum or something. Like I, I do vent. They have this like whole group for advice, you know, just post it there. And on vent, if you wanna go and follow me, my name is just Tiffany Luann, so shameless self promo. <laughs> ask for help. Don't be scared to ask for help. I do all the time. I mean, there are sometimes when I don't, but ask for help. I promise you they will help you. If they are close and they care about you, they will definitely help. So don't be afraid to ask. Just don't ask the wrong people. Like don't ask people who don't give a crap about you. Ask people who you know will care for you and will be there for you. Like a close friend, a best friend, sister, a brother, your spouse, whatever. Just ask for help. I promise you they will help you. So those were my 10 ways to get out of a slump. Thumbs up if this video helped you, which I hope it did. Also comment a tip that maybe I didn't mention that that you wanna share with the world. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.